You know, we all have that one friend or co-worker whose computer skills make us feel like a Neanderthal. They barely touch the mouse, their screen lights up with all kinds of tasks and boxes, and their fingers go lightning fast on that keyboard. They even have time to casually chat with Siri or Cortana and stream games afterwards. But this is no sorcery. Your friend is simply a whiz when it comes to hotkeys, and you can be too. Let's start with a skill every computer maestro needs to know. Number 1. Create a virtual desktop. Imagine you're in the middle of some work project or research you've been doing all day when you need to deal with another task immediately. Opening new tabs in Windows will just slow you down and mess up your workflow. So you need a new, clean desktop. Well, just press the Windows key plus Ctrl plus D or Ctrl plus Up if you use a Mac. It'll switch to a new, fresh desktop, and you're ready to go! Number 2. Switch between virtual desktops. Okay, but where is all that precious work you were doing before? Is it gone forever? Ah, don't panic, it's just hiding! To get it back, push the Windows key plus Control or the Control key on a Mac. Now you can switch between all the virtual desktops you've made by using the left and right arrow keys. When you're done with the second task, and sure you no longer need that desktop, you can close it by pressing the Windows key plus Control plus F4. On a Mac, hold down the Option key and click on the X signs that appear over any open desktop spaces to close them. Number 3. Return to the desktop from apps. If you have too many apps open and you need to use another one hidden behind all those windows on your desktop, you don't need to minimize them all one by one. You can minimize all of them at once by pushing the Windows key plus M. You can also take a peek at your desktop with the Windows key plus comma or Command plus F3 for OS. This is a handy little trick if you work with information from desktop widgets. Or if you really need to take a break for a second and look at the fluffy kittens or fields of calming green grass you use as your desktop wallpaper. Ah. Number 4. Open an app from the taskbar. If you want much faster access to your most used apps, consider keeping them on your taskbar. It'll speed up your workflow even more if you use the following combination. The Windows key plus a number key from 1 to 9. Each number represents an app in your taskbar from the left to right, and this combo will bring up the necessary one. Unfortunately, there's no similar hotkey for OS, but I'm pretty sure Mac users are quite content with the Mac's awesome app navigation. Number 5. Split screen between two apps. Want to see a magic trick? Try this. Open one app that you need for your work and press the Windows key plus left arrow. Then open another app and click the Windows key plus right arrow. Now, two windows are sharing your screen. Checking facts in your academic work while looking directly at your sources? No problem! Photoshopping while watching bright side videos? Haha, <laughs> easy peasy! Number 6. Switch apps There are several ways to effectively shift from one app to another and to manage them on your desktop using hotkeys. Pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus Tab will show you all the apps currently running on your PC. Again, Mac is known for rocking the app navigation game, so it's a bit easier on OS. It's just Ctrl plus Tab. Another way to open the task view, press the Windows key plus Tab. This is the PC equivalent to the Mac's mission control. It provides a broader view of open windows and available desktops, and it's much more convenient to use. 
And finally, there's the hotkey Alt plus Tab or Command plus Tab on a Mac that will allow you to swap programs without previously displaying them, like a deck of cards. If you work with just a couple of windows at once, this one's for you. Number 7. Program Management and Troubleshooting Let's go shoot us some trouble! Now, listen carefully because you'll want to remember this one. Everyone's been there. One program is stuck and won't process anything, even if you cry, beg, or try to bribe it to do so. To avoid restarting your device and losing all your progress, try using the following combo. Control plus Shift plus Escape or Command plus Option plus Escape if you're working on a Mac. It'll open the Task Manager, which will help you force quit any malfunctioning app or stop the ones that aren't responding. Losing some data from one faulty program is not the same as losing all your data from all of them. Number 8. Open File Explorer Not all your apps need to be on hand all the time for you to work faster. Some of them are standard programs built into your computer, and there's a quick and convenient way to access them. Pressing the Windows key plus E opens the File Manager window on your PC. For Mac users, this is your Finder app. Nine. Use the magnifier. Ever dreamed of becoming one of those TV detectives that can find anything on any picture, no matter how tiny the image is? Enhance the image. I need 10x zoom. Yeah, you can totally do that on your computer. The Windows key combined with the plus or minus key will open the magnifier app, which allows you to zoom in and out wherever you point your cursor. The same goes for Mac OS, but you need to use the combination of Alt, Command, and Plus to zoom. Just don't expect to be catching any criminals from the tiny inverted reflection bouncing off an earring or something. Number 10. Take screenshots. Oh, you found that tiny evidence! Well, you better collect it! Use the Windows key plus Print Screen to take a screenshot and immediately save it in the Image folder on your hard drive. Mac also lets you take screenshots by pressing Command plus Shift plus 3. But for you, it gets even cooler! If you push 4 instead of 3, you'll be able to choose what part of your desktop you want to snap a picture of or even take a screenshot of only one exact window. Number 11. Use Action Center. Set up Bluetooth, connect with devices in your network, use your PC as a Wi-Fi hotspot, turn notifications on and off. Those and many other functions in newer versions of Windows are available in one place called Action Center. To open it, simultaneously press the Window key plus A. For Mac users, your Notification Center is always a click away in the top right-hand corner. Twelve, Access the settings if you need more tweaking or access to more advanced parameters of your PC, you can have it all. Use the Windows key plus I to do just that. Thirteen, Talk to Cortana or Siri Task managers, thorough researchers, life organizers, interesting conversation partners… Nowadays, computers come with a personal assistant literally built in. Siri and Cortana can do it all, and you can call them up with just one touch. To open Cortana on Windows in listening mode, press the Windows key plus C. And to summon Siri on Mac OS, hold Command and Space together. Hey Siri! 14. Use the Windows Game Bar 
So, you've been working hard all day, bringing up these desktops and whatnot. You come home and it's time to relax to a nice gaming sesh. And here it comes, that exciting moment when you finally beat that insane boss fight or you and your friends had a hilarious exchange or epic battle in the online game you're playing together. Ah, if only you could capture that moment forever. Well, actually, you have everything you need right in the Game Bar feature on your PC. You can bring it up at any time by pressing the Windows key plus G to set up recording manually. But that's not all. Game Bar itself has a hotkey for starting and stopping recording. Just press Windows plus Alt plus R. You can even start streaming by pushing the Windows key plus Alt plus B. Mac OS also has its own feature for capturing videos, and it's really simple to use. Press Shift plus Command plus 5 to record the screen using QuickTime Player. Fifteen, Lock down your PC Let's say you share a computer with your family or co-workers, and you've spent all day looking for the perfect gift for your mom, or slacking off at work and you don't want anyone to know about it. If you suddenly need to step away from the computer, but you don't want anyone meddling in your stuff, you can quickly lock your user profile. Simply push the Windows key plus L or Shift plus Command plus Q on a Mac. Just make sure you set up your password first and don't forget it. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, which hotkeys make your time on the computer smoother and faster? Let everybody know down in the comments. Be sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to always stay on the bright side of life.